Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 17 December, the day after the FOMC. Big stretch here in Bitcoin. Um, up 10%, now 22,240. Incredible, very robust. Uh, don't chase this. <clears throat> you leave your core longs as they are. Um, this looks like hysteria um, and you can just leave it right maybe put some lonely bids down at 15,000 or 12,000 for the inevitable um, you know insane um, move lower but for now don't stand in front of this train do not short this uh, just sit long uh, wait and watch this could do something you know, pretty silly. Could go to thirty thousand uh, before the end of the year. This is driven by technicals, but also driven by the FOMC last night, where he was so so dovish. It was crazy. Oh my gosh. Um, Pauli <coughs> was dovish, saying we're gonna do everything and more, um, and the dollar has reacted. At first blush, bonds went lower, rates went higher, and this pushed euro down to uh, 26. But then, uh, during the Q&A, he just reaffirmed the fact that, you know, he can do long-term rate control, he can do whatever the hell he wants, and he is going to do it. I personally don't think... Um, interest rates are going to do all that much um, but what I wrote on Twitter yesterday still stands I think they're out of ammo uh, I don't think fiscal helps long term unless it creates jobs which they don't seem to be uh, interested in doing they just want to they're just giving out money to help pay bills, uh, to make long-term change, you have to create jobs. Think back to the New Deal and Roosevelt, that kind of fiscal stuff, Tennessee Valley, Tennessee Valley Authority stuff, uh, build dams, rebuild bridges, um, add jobs in education, long-term jobs. This is the kind of fiscal stuff they need, and until they start doing this, um, as in the government becomes the employer, not just the check giver. Um, it's just a band-aid. Uh, but the third thing they can do, which they can quietly do without saying they're doing it, is devalue the dollar. Uh, and I think the market's got a hold of this a little bit. And here we are, 122.30. It's no drama, right? It's 40 points from, from where it was uh, last night. And... Um, 20 points from yesterday's high, but this could continue now. Um, I'd watch out for this sort of acceleration or just slow continuation here. Uh, weaker dollar cable, same thing, 135.60, new highs. Just waiting for this idiot Brexit thing to be signed. Please don't tell me the fishing issue is going to stop a 300 million population trade deal. Don't be, don't be asinine. Uh, dollar Swiss. Switzerland labeled as a currency manipulator yesterday. Um, I can tell you, I could have told you uh, yesterday, but I'll tell you today, Switzerland doesn't give a rat's ass what the U.S. thinks. Switzerland hates America. Uh, and a lot of that stems from the American who pulled the plug on banking secrecy. Um, and caused loads of fines to be paid by Swiss banks uh, to the SEC and the Department of Justice. Swiss people uh, will never forget that and will always have a bee in their bonnet against American meddling in their affairs. It's very un-Swiss. People here are very private. They don't appreciate when people stick their face uh, where it does not belong. And, of course, the SMB came out immediately and said, fuck off. We don't want really to give a shit. Uh, 
but of course, you know, nothing really happened to the currency up or down, 10 pips up, 10 pips down, but um, dollar Swiss is easing lower, uh, but just slower than than euro dollar just because um, the SMB will be here to smooth Swiss franc strength. Dollar yen approaching this 103.17. Dollar yen is the least likely to collapse, I think, of all of these. I think euro can run. Um, I don't think dollar yen and dollar Swiss are your horses if you want to be short dollars. In fact, if you wanted to try a cheeky double bottom here at 103.17, I wouldn't. I don't think that's a bad idea. Euro yen not doing much. We took a little peek yesterday down at 73 just to take out, or really just to initiate some some momentum shorts. Those got plunked. Euro yen could go a lot higher uh, in this sort of risk on uh, melody that's being played in the global markets here. Just imagine if dollar yen stops going lower and euro dollar keeps going higher, euro yen goes up. Dollar czar continues lower on its knees. We started this year uh, at one at 14, the figure. Honestly, I'll uh, I'll be very very surprised if we close this year at 14, the figure. But listen, we're five percent away. It's not it's not impossible super cautious of this chart here this makes no sense to me um, but weaker dollar risk on dollars are will benefit dollar max same similar chart um, people forget we started the year in dollar max at 1850 we'll see if we can get back down there again I don't think so we are not short dollar max. We are not short dollars. Are we're square looking for the turn? Aussie, we don't mind longs here. We broke 79. I didn't even look at the employment uh, results, but seems pretty robust. Do you want to buy this back down towards 80 today? Aussie, Euro Aussie not in play. Dollar CAD. Big jump yesterday after FOMC up to 127.90. Now it's a triple top there. The neckline, of course, is 126.90. This is super awkward. Um, <clears throat> this looks likely to go. Um, I can foresee further dollar CAD weakness. Dollar CAD to 125 really means nothing in the in the bigger picture of things. Yes. Turned a little bit lower yesterday at the close. 92 the low so far today. What was this bar? 83. Oh, 83 was FOMC, right? And then we held 92, 92, 92. Here we are at 06. Um, cautious. Got to use caution here. If you're going to be long, use a tight stop play your momentum trade you know you can try and buy through highs um, and leave a tight stop but we prefer sitting on the sidelines here waiting for the turn valuations are incredible um, and also if you're a behavioral scientist the put call ratio and the lack of fear um, makes me very very fearful here so we're just keeping our powder dry, waiting for this to turn. You don't have to be first on the turn. Um, you just have to recognize it once it's happening. One of the reasons we use charts is these big red bars that happen when it's turning is basically telling you it's turning. So look for a big red bar that closes at the, you know, one of these hourly bars that goes down a lot and then closes at its lows. Look at the story, what's happening, uh, and decide. ZB didn't do a lot. Originally it collapsed, then it went back up to 07. Here we are at 26, not doing too much. Um, this trend line is still kind of in play. Um, I would suggest to you that um, you can probably sell high ones, just as we have been trying to do basically for six months. 
today where do you want to sell I don't know 173 10 to 173 20 um, try and sell ZB Bitcoin we talked about gold uh, <clears throat> falling in line with this weaker dollar this could get some momentum through 1875 so keep an eye on that level Airbnb up 10% yesterday God bless um, we think this is a $70 stock but um, nice little boost yesterday uh, we think the market cap of Airbnb is, is 50 billion not a hundred billion we can go into that in another video um, the guys from Dublin have asked me to try and uh, trick the uh, YouTube algorithms by saying Forex trading so we're gonna go ahead and say Forex trading haha <laughs> trick to you algos um, for those of you watching Dublin wants me to ask you to subscribe also he wants me to ask you to comment in the comment section you could say whatever you want you don't have to say anything you could just write your favorite swear and your favorite foreign language as many of you know mine is minkia uh, sort of Italian for for the female genitals um, so put some comments in or something I don't know if you're watching the video while you're watching it or listening to it throw some comments in there maybe use a code um, so we can get our code breakers in there to do some deciphering I don't know Dublin's annoyed with me um, as you can imagine he's annoying so I don't know do what you're told that's all I got today uh, tomorrow's gonna be our last video of the year and with that I wish you good luck well maybe not the last video of the year I think we'll probably go to Wednesday next week now I'm babbling bye 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 bye